Inclusiveness is very difficult as a concept because children are individuals. I want all the children to succeed to their best of their abilities. It's inclusive because I'm not separating anybody off. It's inclusive because I try and use as many strategies that are fair for everybody. I don't want anybody to feel ostracised. I want them to be part of a team. Like every newly qualified teacher, Mo Sabi faces the challenge of differentiating the children in her class. Mo has received particular support in this area. During her second year of teacher training with the University of Hertfordshire, she was sent on an eight-week placement to a special school for children with moderate learning difficulties. Now she is taking the strategies she learned at the special school and adapting them for the mainstream classroom. And really letting everything relax out through your mouth. I spent a lot of time over the summer thinking about the classroom layout and how to facilitate as much inclusion within that as possible, knowing that I would have a diverse group of children within that. One of the first ideas that I'd never seen anywhere else is this visual timetable. This means that there's pictures as well as words. So it's very quick to recognise what's going on. It does facilitate those children that are not as strong readers. It's up there and they can work their way through it. What can you see? I want you to talk to the people around you. Mo puts the children's names onto lollipop sticks. And when she wants to pick a child to answer a question, she draws a stick out of a tub. It ensures fairness for everyone. The lollipop sticks, um, in the special school, they have this thing of making sure everyone knows where they are and what place they're in. So if we use something like the lolly sticks, it means that everybody's got to think and there's no favouritism happening. It's very, very fair. Me and Catherine were talking about the face is sort of all jumbled up. Great, that's something that we can see, isn't it? Let's find what other people were thinking. So even though the framework might be for those that need that fairness and that feeling of fairness, it, it's inclusive for everybody because nobody feels that they're being unfairly picked on or unfairly left out. Don't look at the detail. What do I mean by the detail in the picture? To actually understand how to use a TA effectively to further a child's learning, was something that, that was new to me in the special school. Sales. And I wanted to be able to use that wherever I went. Ponytails, shoes and curls. OK, if you've got any of those in there, you can put those down as well. Do you want to read it out to me? The artist has put detail in the clothes. So, for example, the TA is armed with particular questions and a particular resource for a tiny group of children who need to further their lower level thinking skills. So just to be able to describe the picture and having a word bank that the TA can use and that the children can use allows those children to fill in the boxes in such a way that they feel that they are achieving. At the other end of the spectrum again I have resources that the TA could use or I can use that allows me to further the thinking. So in thinking about this last question, why is it that we think that people have, feel the need to, need to paint? Why did Picasso feel the need to paint that picture? By giving them the same activity that is supported allows them all to take part and for all their thoughts to be valued. So it's inclusive through the outcome. It's different. He's not just normal, like everybody else. He wants to be free. For me, I can come into a mainstream school and go, you can throw anything at me, because I've had, I've, I haven't seen it all, but I'm not frightened by it. I'm not frightened to go and find out about it. I'm not frightened to explore the avenues of possibility, which I think if I hadn't had that special school placement, I wouldn't have had that confidence to deal with it. Mm -hmm.